All right, a little history. We started in 84. I walked into a lab. I was going to do lasers and optics. Boss comes, comes over. Dan, I got something to ask. Over in the corner over there is a thermal imaging system made by Probi. Nobody wants to turn it on. You're the new kid in the group. Go find out what you can do with it. So, all right, boss. Since 84, I have not had a camera in my hands. Every day, every week, either a new application or something going on where I can solve a problem. It's been nonstop. With hundreds of folks, like Bruce was saying, we've had a, just a wonderful roller coaster ride with infrared, saving hundreds of millions of dollars. So it's been a, a heck of a, a ride. 85, we got into manufacturing, a different operation every week. Got into composite structures in 87. We implemented this in one of our assembly plants, doing thermal wave imaging on our APV vans for uh, adhesive, seeing where it is and, and where it isn't and what gaps look like, things like that. In the 90s, we optimized our paint processes. We were switching over to waterborne paint. It was critical on how you dried that paint. So every oven one had to go from a solvent-based paint to a water-based paint and trying to adjust all the heat was pretty critical, pretty, pretty tough. You'll see an image later today of what that looks like. 92, we kicked off a predictive preventive maintenance program. Uh, we really uh, took off on, on applying this in the predictive arena. Uh, we had about 400 trained thermographers across the corporation, about 200 active any one time. 94, we got into die casting. Uh, some wonderful uses on, on thermal balance, how to understand what's going on in the die casting process. Uh, there's many, many cost saving applications in die casting. Uh, there's a, a paper that's going to be coming out this fall. John and Barry are uh, co authoring that. And uh, we won't, uh, well, there's a talk that we could give, but I don't think we have time today to cover that. But that's, a, that's for another day. 96, we got into injection molding, uh, worked with uh, some of our suppliers, and uh, had some good, good applications there. 98, we started our certification program, and that went right up to our bankruptcy, and then we're going to be starting that up again. Okay? <laughs>